Sorry I haven't made any new videos lately. I haven't had much new to show. And I've also been dealing with, quite brashly, some fairly heavy b in my personal life. But anyway, back to this specimen here. This is a Japanese box clock. It is very obviously German inspired, but it is Japanese or Asian. The kanji on the movement could either be Chinese or Japanese, but I'm going to assume it's Japanese because not many uh, Chinese movements look like this one. This clock is not mine. This is my friend Nicholas's clock and I have it in my room here on test because it needed some adjustments. The, um, the count wheel would sometimes get jammed and the chimes would fall out of sequence, but I think I have corrected that problem. I'd like to say, that's why the dial is on. I've had the dial off for approximately 12 hours now, and it has stayed in sync, so we're going to see it out the rest of the week, though. Make sure it keeps time and all that. Relatively okay time. I shall let you hear what this sounds like now. It's uh, got half hour and hour striking. Shutting the door really amplifies the sound. So now, as per usual, I'll let you see the inside and all that. Here's the clock as it's up on test. Here you can get a look at the steel-plated movement with the brass gears, which is a very Asian design motif. Also reminiscent of the Soviet Union clocks. This clock has hour and half hour count wheel striking, so I'll let you watch the count wheel. It's 10.30, now let's go to 11. I really like the engravings on the glass here. Also, if anyone knows Japanese and is able to make out these characters, that would be greatly appreciated because me and Nicholas have been at a loss for uh, what this says. We haven't been able to get any of our translator apps to actually pick this up as text. And it's been really hard to trace the kanji because to the surprise of no one, kanji is very hard to trace. Especially for Westerners like ourselves. Here's the dial, by the way. And this clock has the strangest oddity, and it's not that it's Japanese, and it's not the movement, and it, it's the dial. It's, uh, what's on the back of the dial? Yeah. Uh, me and Nicholas don't really know what to make of this. Nicholas suggests maybe that uh, they just were running low on materials and they remade this dial here with this old dial. I'm not sure which clock company that is. I really did try my best to find uh, find out what that kanji character was and I did look at micholisk.de and I couldn't come up with anything. So if any Japanese viewers or Japanese clock enthusiasts know about that brand, as well as uh, what, what we have going on in here on this movement, your input would be greatly appreciated. I don't want to give out any facts, I say in quotations, because Asian clock companies uh, if you can't even find out what they're called from their trademarks, 
don't have a lot of information on them. And that's kind of just clock companies in general, so I'm quite hesitant to give exact dates or even approximate dates, but me and Nicholas have kind of agreed that this clock could be anywhere from, you know, 1930 to 1950 or something like that, because Asian companies were um, using older... Uh, more primitive styled movements even well into the mid-century uh, some Ansonia movements are examples of this this clock here has an Ansonia movement in it and there'll be a clicky thing you can check out if you want to see what this one looks like on the inside see what I'm referring to but this one seems more primitive S steel plated brass wheels like I said, if any of you have any idea on uh, Japanese companies, please uh, leave a comment so that me and Nicholas know uh, where this clock originates from because it's a mystery to us. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll have one more clock that I will be making a video on in August. So stay tuned for that and then there will be another clock collection update. And thank you, Nicholas, for trusting my abilities. Uh, we're going to try and get this working. So I'm filming this uh, Saturday night. I'll see you next weekend, hopefully, with this working.